Hi, this is Andy Larson, Charleston's Connector. And one of the things I do is I love to meet new entrepreneurs and find out what did they used to do and how did they make that entrepreneurial leap to being their own boss. My very first one ever is the awesome Derek Woods. In fact, some of the reasons why I talk the way I do is because of this guy right here. And so Derek is with Holy City Hearing right here at the foot of the bridge in Mount Pleasant. And Derek, you obviously have not been doing this your whole life because I've known you for a while. What did you used to do before you started your own business? I grew up in a paper mill town in a little town in Virginia, and I got into the paper industry, got into manufacturing, made a lot of money, and thought I loved it until my wife said, Derek, you've had enough. Please find something else to do. Promise me you'll never step another foot in a factory. I had a history of hearing loss. I found a hearing aid franchise. I bought it, and I fixed my hearing. I was my first one of these hearing aids for so many got a lot of money for flaws. Yeah, <laughs> my, my real bass. Stereo. I have a history of uh, hearing loss since being a baby. No brainer, we went after it. That was six years ago. I wish it was 20 years ago. I love doing what I did. So you've heard me use the term entrepreneur before. Yeah, it's I love want it. to be an entrepreneur. Right? right. So for all of our entrepreneurs out there, what's the one thing that you wish you had known before you made that leap? I spent a lot of time planning and preparing, and I wish I had counted on it takes double the time and double the capital to get it up and running successfully. Amen. <laughs> so Derek, are there any other words of wisdom that you have for entrepreneurs before they actually make that leap? Yeah, a big, big suggestion I would have is to pick something you really have a passion for. I had two things going for me. One is I really wanted it in my new business to be able to help others. Secondly, I've suffered with a hearing loss since I was a baby, so it was a perfect fit. I know what it is to fix my hearing and to help people, and I know how it affects the family positively, so it's just a perfect passion for me. Well, one final question. How do people find you? HolyCityHearing.com is our website. We have an active Facebook page that my wife, Nancy, and Katie, and the other ladies put all kinds of cool stuff on, and Derek Woods on LinkedIn. But I would start out with HolyCityHearing.com. This guy here is awesome. I will put all the links in the comments section below this video. This is Andy Larson, Charleston's Connector, and we will see you next time. Thanks, Derek. Andy's awesome. Thank yep. you, Andy. Thanks.